Hey guys, I'm coming on to do another video. Uh, but this video is much different than the last one. Uh, although the last one I shared earlier this morning is very, very important. This is important as well, and this is um, touching on something very different. So, I often try to comfort my daughter with things like this because my daughter, uh, she's got a lot of sadness. She's really hurt. Um, she's been hurt for years now. And it breaks my heart because um, some of it is from me. A lot of it is from another person uh, before my walk with the Lord. I made a lot of mistakes similar to ones that one of my family members made uh, with me and I kind of grew up and followed their path and made a lot of the same exact mistakes which is heartbreaking but at the same time it helps me to understand this family member more it's brought me to a place of more compassion for them. Helps me to forgive them more. And it's a journey to forgiving myself. To walking with the Lord now and doing things differently. And just trying to... Just trying to work with the Lord and help as much as I can. Uh with my children my daughter uh, she gets attacked quite a bit just like we all do and um, by the enemy uh, she deals with bullying she deals with hurt and pain and neglect from other family members and it's heartbreaking to watch her go through um, prayers would be much appreciated but I try to comfort her and tell her to talk to Jesus to bring all of her sadness to him all the things that make her sad all the things that make her angry all the things that she loves and hates bring it all to Jesus and uh, mommy can comfort you so much but Jesus is our comforter. He is the one who can come inside our hearts and comfort us and change our hearts. And I try to remind her, as much as it's painful going through a lot of things here on this earth and we can't control other people, we can't control situations, but we have hope. And the Lord is coming soon and he's taken us home. And we won't have this pain anymore. And I won't have to watch my child go through pain anymore and she won't have to go through the pain she goes through anymore and it's so hard while we're here but I remind her that this is our love story with the Lord and it's not gonna last forever here so I just want to share some things that I wrote down things that give me hope things that I want to do with the Lord when he takes me home just to kind of put a little spark in your guys' hearts and shift the focus to hope. I'm just going to read this list. So I started off saying, Jesus, Yeshua, lover of my soul, these are some things I want to do with you. I want to dance to our song on Saturn's rings. I want to lay on the grass and look up at the stars while you tell me stories. I want to swim together. I want to ride horses together. I want to go fishing with Abba together. I want to dance and laugh around a bonfire with other disciples and brothers and sisters. I want to listen to, sing, and make music together. I want to walk and run through gardens together. I want to build things together. I want to play like children together. I want to play with children together. I want to have a tea party. <laughs> I 
I want to play dress up and wear funky hats together. I want to paint together. I want to teach together. I want to eat fruit together. I want to garden together. I want to build kingdoms together for Abba.